Hey everybody, I'm uh, back on the Bayside desktop machine and I'm going to try to get that other drive to show up today. Uh, one thing I wanted to point out is that after I did the reformat of that 2 terabyte drive, it uh, automatically started mounting itself, so I didn't have to worry about that anymore. And I went ahead and made it the default uh, for, for Steam storage. And if I click on this button here, actually let me switch back to the other one. If I click on this ellipsis here, it says that I can make it the default. So I went ahead and made the big drive the default drive. That's how I want it to be. Uh, there is still the problem that I was having with the other drive not showing up, so I might try to work on that for a bit today. So what I'm going to do going to go back into the KDE Partition Manager. Oh, maybe I will. See if I can find it. Partition. Disks. That doesn't sound right. That sounds like the other one. Uh, maybe it's because I updated. Because I ran the system updates. But it still seems kind of weird. Last time I booted it up, I had the KDE Partition Manager. This time, whenever I booted it up, I just had disks. All right, well, let's go see what's in disks then. This seems really strange. I was This isn't what I had last time, but maybe whenever I ran the updates, this is what happened. Uh, all right, so what we have is the 240 gigabyte disk where the system's installed. And, oh wow, that's not really that, is it? Oh no, it's BTRFS, okay. Uh, and then this is also BTRFS. And then if I look at this, oh, it's got the Intel Rapid Storage Technology RAID member on it. That must be what it is. I had the, uh, this machine, had the Intel Optane. I think there was like a 64 gigabyte Intel Optane drive to try to make the terabyte uh, hard disk drive faster. So maybe that's what's going on here now that I think about it. The fact that I, well, I'm not too worried about the fact that I'm in disks. Let's say here, what can we do? Can we right click on it? Nope. Can I click this ellipsis format disk? Don't override existing data, but data compatible with modern systems and hard disks for GPT. Oh, interesting. I don't have an uh, option to even install BTRFS on this drive. That seems real strange. I'm not sure what's going on. But I do think that I want to format this disk. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to go ahead and say format disk. I'm going to format it for GPT since that's the option. And I'll do it as a quick format. All right. All data on disk will be lost, but may still be recoverable by data recovery. If you're planning to recycle, sell, or give away your computer, you should do a more thorough erase. Well, I'm just planning on getting it formatted so I can use it for whatever. All right. Authentication. I'll put in my... Password, error formatting, error wiping, failed to open, device resource busy, eDisk's error quirk. Okay, so we're getting the same, not necessarily the same. Whenever I did this from KDE Partition Manager, it didn't show me uh, what the error message was. So, let's see if I can copy this. Maybe Control C, Control V. Nope, can't Control copy it. That's okay. Uh, let's just type it in. See what it says about that. All right, the error message. Oh, well, the AI says device time. Error formatting disk. Let's see what Linux Mint has to say about it. I used the wipe command in terminal to wipe my two terabyte drive. Then I tried using the disk option to format the wipe drive. I selected override existing data. Press that out of curiosity. I entered that at terminal. Got this. 
just so you know, the target disk is STA. Also, I don't know much about computers. Okay, that's fair. Try again with Gparted installed from the software manager. Try to select this top right view device information. We'll give you the panel on the left so you can confirm, confirm it as a GPT partition table. Right click in unallocated space. Okay. I try your suggestion. I got an error. Can I read that error? You don't need to create a LibreOffice document. Those screenshots directly. Okay. Uh, let's see. Input output error. Better. Okay. Open a terminal. Okay. Guess we'll write zeros to the first MB of the drive, wiping out the partition table. Check and absolutely be. This doesn't sound like a great idea. Try something else. Ask Ubuntu. I am a human. Pop open the terminal. All right, so sudo hdparm. I guess I could maybe copy paste. The previous one said that 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 quadruple x would be okay to use directly. So try that first. So we'll say paste, and then device is dev sda. That seems correct for what I'm seeing here. All right, so then that'll do it. Do that. Password is my password. Issuing security unlock command. Bad missing sense data. Okay, well, it didn't tell me what the output should be, so maybe that's okay. Let's try disable. I can always go back and just Redo the install. I'm not losing anything at this point. Uh, SDA. Do that. Bad missing sun status still. Issuing security disable command. Okay. According to this, XXX is most likely the default password that is set automatically. Okay. All right. So can I do the reformat now, maybe? Let's find out format disk. Don't overwrite two terabyte format format. Nope, same thing. Failed to open the device. Device resource busy. Okay, so that didn't work. Things pop. Well, this isn't the SSD. Okay, SATA drive has two commands for wiping a drive. Security, erase unit, and enhance. These commands can also be used to zero out the hard disk. Make sure drive security. What does this do? Okay, HD parm dash i dev sta grep. Pseudo uh, pipe. Oh, that's not my pipe button. That's why I messed up. Grep frozen. Hey, it is frozen. Okay. In the security section of the output, it should say not frozen. If it shows as just frozen, then you cannot continue to the next step. See solid state drive frozen mode for details. Possible solution is to simply suspend the system. On waking up, it is likely that the freeze will be lifted. Unsuccessful, one can try to replug the data kernel, which might. Okay, don't want to do that. All right. Uh, let's see what this thing has to say. Frozen mode. Some other board firmware 
issue a ATA security freeze lock command to the SATA devices upon initialization, setting the drive to frozen mode, which transitions it to SEC2 state, security disable, not locked, frozen. Likewise, from some SSD are set to the state in the factory already. This can be seen in the HD PARM and smart CTL output. Okay. Okay, operations like formatting are not affected by the frozen mode. The above output shows the device is not locked. Okay, well, let's just go ahead and run the whole thing without the grep frozen and see what it says, see what it says about the rest of it. Oh, that's so much. Okay. Let's see. So we got capabilities, configuration, ATA device. Supported use unknown, likely. Again, and at the bottom, supported, not enabled, not locked, frozen, not expired, supported, enhanced erase. 124 minutes for security erase unit. Okay, check some. Okay, so we've got you intend to set a password to a frozen device yourself, a motherboard BIOS with support where it is required. Okay. Do not try to change the above lock security settings with HDPARM unless you know exactly what you're doing. Okay, so it's not locked. That's a good thing. Uh, let's see. Do mount dev and reach out your command. Okay. Mount slash dev slash SDA. Not mounted, okay. Use the force option, okay. Wipe FS dash A. Oh, well, that's good. Okay, so let's try this with a star. Not mounted. Oh, I gotta stop the raid. But that's not mounted there. Okay. You have to unmount the drive. You can run LSBLK to see where the drive is mounted, and then you can run UMA. Okay. LSBLK. All right, we got STB2s, we got MD127, 935, oh, my SDA and my MD127 there, okay. Maybe I have to post somewhere, uh, let's see. And you can U-mount it, okay, so let's try U-mount, slash dev, slash MD127. So it is saying up here, MD, there we go. Okay, oh, what is this? Okay, so we'll say, just wanted to add in my case, I attached four drives that were previously in a raid. Okay, MDA, DM, dash, dash, stop, slash dev, slash MD, one, two, seven. Must be super easier. All right, sudo. Super user, S O one R P N stopped. Aha. Okay. So now maybe I can reformat it. Format disk. Format that. Go. Authentication. Oh. Okay. That did it. All right. So now let's put all the partition. Create that partition. Volume name will be. Uh, slow drive, erase over its existing internal disk use with Linux system only, XT4 password. Okay, that sounds good. Let's do that. All right, maybe, okay, it's thinking. Give it time to think. So, okay, so the, the fix was the sudo 
empty ADM stop after running LSB LK, finding that SDA was mapped to this MD127, and then stopping it. Okay, run that one, that's done. So if I go back here, I've got slow drive there. It's not mounted yet. Uh, let's click it. We'll mount it. Maybe this means that my Optane is gone, but that's okay. Uh, okay, so now, maybe since it's formatted, it'll auto-mount like the big drive did. So let me restart. We'll see what happens. Maybe we got to do some more to get it to auto-mount. But we shall see. We're close. After this, I can start doing some gaming. Or maybe I'll just shut it down again and do gaming later. I just really wanted to figure out what was going on with that drive. Uh, I'll have to check to make sure that all those commands are in the history, because I'll want to include those in the description whenever we get to it. Um, I hope y'all are getting ready to have a good weekend. It's, uh, it's, it's going to be a hot one, I'm sure. But otherwise, I'm sure it's going to be pretty good. We'll wait for it to reboot. All right. While we're waiting, I'll point out my dog is out of his cone now. Let's see where he is. Do you see him over there? Oh, there he is. He is sitting there cone free. He got his stitches out today. He is the best dog in the world. The best dog in the world. He is the best dog in the world. Oh. And he's got a cute butt. All right. All right, we're back in. We'll give it a second. I think it wants to log into Steam. Oh, uh, before I do that, let me just go look in the file manager. Because I don't want to. Maybe I can sign in. Let me see if I can do this. It's as far over as it goes. I can put it down there. All right, that worked. Cool. I did notice there's some artifacting going on on the screen. Not sure if that means that my NVIDIA card isn't as up to date as it should be. Or uh, maybe it's something else. All right, so we're in here again. Uh, oh, I gotta stop sharing my screen for a moment. Which one? This one, I think. Okay. So I'll go to Steam, Settings, Storage, and I'll share my screen again. And we'll look at what all storage we have available. All right, so we've only got those two. I'm going to click Add Drive. Well, I'm not really interested in using it for this purpose, so I'm not going to put it on there. Um, well, no reason not to. If I got a game that's not affected by hard disk drive speed, maybe it's worth putting over there. So we'll add Slow Drive. It, felt, it showed up. 869 of 915 gigs free. I wonder what's taking up space over there. Seems a little weird. Oh, well. But that does mean we've got all of our drives mounted. That's a good sign. I look on slow drive. Authorization required. Act as, well, I don't need to care. I'll uh, check that out later. Let's see, what do I want to play? The Hades 2 got an unseen patch. I just got control. I guess, I guess I'll install Hades 2 and control again. Or well, I'll install Control for the first time and see how it plays, and then I'll install Hades too because I want to play the update. Uh, so that'll go onto the big drive. That sounds right. Forty-one gigs sounds okay. We'll do the install there, and then I'll go back, choose Hades two, get that installed as well. Also do the big drive, and that'll be it for this video. I'll uh. See what I can do to get the, uh, well, we'll start playing games on here in a little bit and see how it goes. So thanks, everybody. Hope you have a good one.